we just been for a spot of shopping and now we are going to go for lunch to the restaurant where, where Max works on at weekend so it'd be fun he can serve us and we won't give him any tip Hi my lovelies, um, so we had a lovely day yesterday, we went to, uh, for lunch to the restaurant where Max is working, so you saw him working a bit, I quietly videoed him um, and I bought a few things, so I wanted to show you what I bought, first thing I bought is this, um, this is such my colour, I love that sort of colour and I'm fed up with black and all the dark colors in the winter. I really want the spring to be here. So this is from Mint Velvet and I have a lot like thick jumpers but nothing a bit thinner. You know, it's unusual that it's very cold here. So um, I don't often wear those really thick jumpers. So I thought I get something thinner and I love Mint Velvet. And this is just a crew neck with like a very pale grey star and he's got like grey things here uh, so I got that one and I also got a plain grey one the same shape a uh, plain grey one with like an embossed grey heart um, I didn't bring it down here I will put the link to it they do it in different colours I might get they did really beautiful pink as well so I might get the pink one so I went into Kiko and I bought the Color Lasting Creamy Eyeshadow. Does that have a name? No, they usually don't have names. They just have, I think on a website they might have names, but this is 07 and it's beautiful. I just quickly tried it on um, yesterday. When you look at it, just have a look. You will see like two colors in there because before you touch it, it looked it's actually a bit misleading because it looks quite peachy pink but when you actually go into it it's more of a taupey silvery color so I was a bit disappointed with that it's still beautiful color but I thought I was getting different colors so if you have a shop and you can go and look stick your finger in the um, sample to see because what you see on the top it's not exactly what's underneath it can you see so it is like a peachy one where I didn't touch it but where I've touched it is um, but look at that it is so beautiful and it's so smooth and creamy so it's it's almost glittery but it's not like chunks of glitter that fall out fall out and yeah beautiful actually you can see a bit of that peach through it but i see it more like a taupey silver and go let me apply a bit more of it so you can see it better yeah you can definitely um see see it shifting peachy it's gorgeous and it stays on the eyes so lovely so i might get more colors i don't often use cream eyeshadows but you know how i like the sparkle on on my mobile lid i could use this instead of powder so that was that then i went to boots and i saw the nyx came out with a new eyebrow pencil and I am a bit obsessed with eyebrow pencils and you already know that I really like the fine tip ones. Um, I cannot get on with the triangular tip, but this is even different. I love the packaging. It's, so this is the pencil and you also have the spoolie on the other side. Oh, and mine is in top. Look at that. So this one is not pointy but sort of flat wide and flat and i love it i've tried it and it's so easy to to you know like um do the initial line and then go this way i really love it and you know i like the old um next 
pencils as well. I don't have like a, you know, um, favorite in a world. I like so many. I love the Dior Universal Brow Pencil. I like the NYX, the, the original one. I love this one now. I like the L'Oreal one. Um, there are so many pencils. To me, the tip and the consistency is very important. So it's not too creamy, not too dry, and the tip has to be fine. And even though this is not fine, but it's quite thin, um, I really like this one. And then I was just passing the um, soap and glory <laughs> bit in boards, and I and I I'm a bit obsessed with glosses. So I was looking at these glosses, didn't even read what it was. I swatched it and I bought it. And it's the Sexy Mother Packer, uh, which is the lip plumping gloss. And um, when I came home, I put it on, I went, oh my God, because this thing stings like Mother Packer. <laughs> it really stings. I mean, your lips are on fire. It doesn't scare me or anything, but if you don't like that. And then I remembered, I already had this before and I stopped using it because it stank so much. But I think I'm going to go with it because I love the color. I had obviously different color before. And it is so, so glossy. Um, what color is it? Candy Queen. Um, and it smells like of cinnamon. Mm, because I think, no, cinnamon, there is something else that I can smell in there. Does it say what it's got in it? Natural plant oil infusion. I don't know, but I like the smell, but it stinks a lot. So if you don't like that, don't buy it. Um, let me put it on. My lips will be like that. I've got on... Of course, Too Faced Queen Bee, the matte lipstick, liquid lipstick. That just gives such a beautiful shine. I can't see what I'm doing, I've got no mirror here. Can, can't feel anything yet, but when it starts, it does not stop. I can't feel it yet. Oh, I'm feeling it. Right, another thing which I'm so excited about. So I don't know if any of you watch Nadine Baggett. She's our um, British beauty know-it-all. She's a beauty editor. She writes for different magazines. She interviews skincare um, professionals and so on. And she just did a video on a retinol eye cream. So we all know retinol is the must-have ingredient for anti-aging in whichever way you use it. Um, and as we know, if you use retin Retin-A, you can't use it under your eyes. Um, they've come out with Ole Pro Retinol Eye Treatment. And she did an interview with the woman who was involved in developing all the ingredients and they did clinical trials on it and the results were amazing. They said that it gave you the same results as Retin-A. I don't know how true it is, but of course I ran out and bought it. Um, I actually ordered it online because I found it, it was, it was um, something like special special price so it's much cheaper than ordinarily so this is the tube and I'm going to start using it every night they say you can use it in a day twice a day but I'm using in a day right now that um, color science total eye I really like it so I will be using it in a night and we will see I am really really excited and I'm not going to go into science because, you know, I know nothing about it. I research things and read things. I am not a chemist or anything like that. But I will link you the video where Nadine is talking about it and interviews this woman. And you can uh, watch it and see for yourself. But I, 
I am hoping for a lot from this cream so yes and I think she hinted that they probably will soon come out with a retinol cream as well uh, what else did I buy oh I bought Burberry Burberry uh, Eau de Parfum in weekend oh my god I've never had it I smelled it before um, but I absolutely love it it is very fresh and it's nice and strong and it lasts so long I have this problem that when I put any fragrance on I smell it for about five minutes and then it's gone this I can smell for a few hours so I absolutely love it again I think I I bought it because I found it somewhere at a very good price because it is not not cheap I think I bought it for 30 pounds I can't remember but I will try to find you the link to it so this is this is the box so it's a Burberry weekend okay last thing excited so much about it too I bought something from Home Medics and um, I have a couple of things from Home Medics and I really really like them so you know I've had this problem with my neck and I always have problem with my back and the problem is that I sit a lot and sit in this position and the best thing for it is stretches uh, yoga is absolutely amazing to do but I've got no time to do yoga I already got twice a week to, to the gym um, I have no time to go and do yoga class as well so I bought this I show you the box it is huge so I don't know if you will be able to see it let me just move the camera a bit So basically it's a stretch the back stretching mat inspired by yoga. It says lay back and relax as stretch moves your body through a gentle yet powerful sequences of yoga inspired stretches and twists. And I tried it already last night and I loved it. It is so relaxing. Uh, you have to start slowly, especially if you're already stiff. Right, let me bring you closer together. Uh, closer to me. Um, especially if you are stiff like I am, I cannot touch my toes. You need to start on like a, it's very easy to, to operate you just unfold it it's got a remote you lie on it and you can lie in different positions it has a little very simple leaflet and um, all the positions you can do and also on their website they have their own website home medics um, there are videos as well that you can watch and um, you start like on the lowest and just do the stretch because there is dynamic there is flow and twist or something like that so um so you're supposed to start on the lowest especially if you're very stiff if you're advanced you can do it you know full steam ahead and you should wait then 48 hours before you do it again so start slowly because it feels very relaxing and almost like a, it's not like a massage that things are rolling there are things that inflate under uh, different parts of your body and stretch you it's it's gorgeous um but you're supposed to build up to it you know especially if you are quite stiff because you might ache ache a bit next day it doesn't feel like you're doing anything but imagine if you are very stiff and went and did yoga the first time you would ache the next day as well i i didn't really ache um after this maybe because you know i do exercise now but um i'm definitely stiff so I would really, really recommend it. Uh, the, the full price of it is over £200, but I got it, I think, for £200. Um, there is few websites that sell it, so I will try to find you one uh, where it is the cheapest. And also I will leave you the website, the Home Medics website, because there are really good um, videos on there that you can watch. Okay, so that's all I bought yesterday and um, 
I'm thinking because it's Easter this month uh, that I might decorate this little tree behind me. I remember when I went to the garden center and I was looking for something for Valentine's Day to decorate and I didn't find anything. I bought some of these eggs and I think I have some other ones from years ago. And I also have these little flowers that I used to use in my crafting. Um, I, used, I don't know if you know, I used to make greeting cards and um, and I used to use these little flowers, so I might like attach them here so it looks spring-like and I might decorate it with my eggs. So I might do that in a minute, actually. And I might show you. <laughs> uh, the only thing is, um, as I've got already some videos pre-recorded that will probably um, come out this week, you might not see the things behind me because I would have pre-recorded these videos before I decorated, so. Oh, by the way, because you probably will be asking me about these, uh, these are quite old. Um, I love these earrings. I actually have to clean them. They're silver, so they've gone a bit tarnished. Uh, these ones were made um, by Caroline Brook Jewelry, you know, my sister-in-law. I don't know if she still makes this, um, this type but if you really wanted them if you emailed her or something and said that that's the earrings you would like I'm sure she would make them they are on quite a long loop and they have almost like a silver lily leaf and then um, a stone this is an um, um, Amazonite I think I'm not sure you can have it made with any really stone i think she made them with pearls as well and other things so yeah they're really long um, old but i thought they would look really nice with my jumper okay my lovely so that's it for today and i will see you another day bye okay so i've decorated my twigs for spring and easter so i had these can you see them these little flowers on a wire so I wired them on randomly on those twigs and hang the Easter eggs cute isn't it I've got somewhere another box of eggs but I can't find it so it might just have to stay like that I love it. I should decorate it for every occasion all year round. Good morning everyone. It's gym day. Um, I've started to looking forward to my gym sessions now. You know when they say that if you start exercising you get addicted to it and I could never see that because I've never exercised for long enough to get addicted to it but I suppose I can see it. I feel much more confident, stronger, uh, fitter and I quite enjoy it. I might not enjoy it as much at the, at the time when I'm panting <laughs> but I do enjoy it. Anyway, what I wanted to say, uh, just before I left I was watching a video of my friend uh, Karen, Mrs Ginger's Beauty Channel on retinoids, retin-A, retinol and the granactive retinoid which I'm using from The Ordinary and it's such a great video you should go and watch it I think she explained it so well in simple terms for everybody to understand she's such a research geek she researched things really thoroughly I don't um, and I was especially uh, interested uh, in the granactive retinoid which I'm using and uh, when I t first told you about it I was obviously well I understood it wrong not that I was wrong I'm not a doctor so you don't take anything I say as set in stone you know uh, but I understood that the granactive retinoid 5% was equivalent to 0.05% of retin-A and that's not the case uh, it's a very new retinol or retinol ester that you know that hasn't been much research on how 
um, effective it is in anti-aging. Um, one good thing is I really enjoy it and um, there are some other companies that include that um, um, ingredient in their skincare and I enjoy it and I like it and I'm gonna carry on using it I'm just not gonna go back to Retin-A if I change it I'll probably go into Retinol maybe like Paula's Choice the 1% I think she does um, but I don't I don't see myself ever going back to Retin-A so yeah I will leave you the link to that video because I found it very well explained you know there is so much of the, that scientific jargon that we don't always understand what is going on but I feel like Karen explained it really well okay another thing I think I'm going to stop using the uh, four long lashes or long four lashes eyelash serum I've been using it for about five weeks now and I should really see great results by now I have seen um, improvement in thickness of my eyelashes but I can't say I've seen a lot improvement in the length of my lashes whereas with my uh, Fisico eyelash serum I can see it very quickly and I love that serum but it is expensive I understand this is one of the more expensive serums out there uh, but I don't mind if it works because you know it lasts you for such a long time I'm I'm sure mine lasts me six months if not longer so it's not too bad but um, I was like sorting out my my makeup uh, drawers and I found this other eyelash serum I obviously got it sent ages ago by some PR company and it's the real lash I've heard of it I've never used it I don't know if any of you used it and if you had any good results so I think what I'm going to do is stop now the other one because I'm not so pleased with it I know that some people say they had great results my sister said she had great results but I, I can't see they, there are some results but not what I want so I'm going to now start using this real lash and we'll see how that works I'm just trying to find cheaper alternatives that work because for you you know I I swear by Fisico but obviously it is expensive so we will see if the real lash works and if not I'm just I still have my Fisico in fact I, I still have a spare one so I'm fine if none of them work I just go back to Fisico okay my lovelies thank you so much for watching my video today I hope you have a wonderful week and I see you very soon